pregnant, you might be taking some medications that could harm your baby without even knowing it. Sometimes it's not your fault. So stick around because today I'll be revealing 11 medications that you need to absolutely avoid in order to keep your little ones safe. As a pregnant woman, you need to be extra cautious of what you take into your body. Why is this so important? Well, many drugs you take can cross the placenta and affect your baby development, leading to birth defects, growth issues, and even pregnancy complications. Now, let's break down the medications. I'll keep it simple so that you know what to watch out for. The first one here is the common painkillers. This has to be the number one because it is so common. In fact, small headache like this, you are taking painkillers. Backache, painkillers. Small thing, painkillers. Wait thing. Calm down. Some painkillers can cause harm. In fact, big harm more than good. For example, ibuprofen, that common medicine you like to take. And NSAIDs, that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These drugs, even aspirin, yes, this drug can affect your baby's heart and even cause other problems. So, avoid it. So, some antibiotics like tetracycline. If you are fond of taking this medicine, please, during pregnancy, say no. This medicine can affect your baby's bone and even their milk teeth. In fact, they can cause permanent stain on their teeth, giving your baby's teeth a yellowish color. Imagine, it can even cause liver damage. You see how intense this medicine can be in causing damage. So, stay away from tetracycline. Three, another antibiotic that is called fluoroquinolone. You see these antibiotics? Exam Let me give you an example. Ciprofloxacin or levofloxacin. This medicine can cause joint issues and even disrupt the baby's development. If you have infection, see a doctor, not self-treat. You don't even know what they can do. Don't use it without a prescription. The fourth one here is the anti-acne drugs. That is the drug you use to treat pimples. Pimples. For example, isotretinoin that is used to treat severe acne. This medicine or the cream, either cream, either medicine, don't go there. This has been known to cause severe birth defects. Definitely avoid it. You see all these pimples, drugs, the creams, they have been linked to affect baby hearts, baby brain. In fact, it can cause miscarriage. You might not know. You might not know. That's what I'm telling you. The fifth one is the antihistamine used to treat all allergy. These things can cause extreme reactions. In fact, it can cause fatigue, fainting, dryness in pregnant women. So if you are allergic to anything or you are having any allergic reaction, see your physician for better treatment. The sixth one is the morning sickness medicines. On a normal ground, Pregnant women do have these money sickness signs and symptoms during the early pregnancy and they want to take something just to lighten up their mood and relieve all the symptoms. Then they go over the counter or chemist to get ginger pills. Don't take them. Because if taken in high doses, they can lead to miscarriage. So you don't know what and what can cause bad things, right? So it's better to just avoid it. Then the seventh one are the tranquilizers. These medicines are used to treat mood disorder. You know, those that are having mood swings, they use it to calm their nerves. But remember that this medicine can be addicted. You can get addicted to heat. And they can cause withdrawal symptoms in your bone side. That is, it will be very difficult to remove it from your system. It's very difficult for you to even stop. So imagine the effects that it can have on your baby, like brain development can affect their brain development their heart their esophagus it can cause miscarriage it can even cause premature births avoid tranquilizers example are the diazepam the benzodiazepine then the hate one are the warfarin you get the name warfarin these are blood thinners medicine for example some patients who have experienced or have a previous heart surgery or blood vessels condition they are being prescribed this warfarin in order to prevents blood clots or even to treat blood clots formation in their body. So pregnancy now usually increases the risk of blood clots on the norms. Pregnancy can cause clot formation, can cause deep vein thrombosis. This is usually common if you notice it. So even if you are going to be giving blood thinners, it should not even be warfarin. And the ninth one are the certain blood prayer medications. For example, if a pregnant woman has been treating blood pressure or they have 
a pre-existing blood pressure before they get pregnant. It's not supposed to be the drugs they are taking before pregnancy that they will also still be taking during pregnancy. Sometimes it's not going to work that way because some blood pressure medicines like ACE inhibitors, like uh, lisinopril, they can affect your baby kidney. They can cause harm to your baby. So you see your physician, if they will change your medicine, or you will still continue with it. So don't just say, I've been taking this medicine before I get pregnant. Why not I can continue? Sometimes the medicines are no good for the baby. So your physician will tell you what is good and what is not. You want to make sure that you're checking your blood pressure often so that they are always in normal range. And the tenth one are the anti-diabetes. If you have diabetes before pregnancy, when you are pregnant, make sure that your blood sugar are always in controlled measure. Like you always keep them in controlled check so that they don't go too high, they don't go too low. Because the only anti-diabetic oral drugs that are considered safe in pregnancy are the metformin and insulin. So keep your blood sugar in check, make sure they are within the normal range, especially in first trimester. Because uncontrolled blood sugar can cause birth anomalies, birth defects, can cause growth issues in your baby. And the final one, which is the 11th, is the lithium. This is used to treat bipolar disorder in psychiatric care. So it is most dangerous during the first trimester when the heart is still developing. So don't introduce this medicine because it can cause heart defects. So make sure that you talk to your physician, your gynecologist for approval if you've been on lithium before. They know if you're going to change it or not, when to change it or not. Now, I have a special advice to all pregnant women. Always talk to your doctor only before you go and consume any chemist medicine or any medicine without clear permission. Don't just use medicine due to recommendations from your friends that have been pregnant. Maybe they have some health conditions or they have some symptoms during their pregnancy and they told you ah, this is the thing i used during my pregnancy and it worked magic you can try it don't try it so talk to your doctor alone if you are feeling anything during pregnancy the second one is that make sure you are reading labels of whatever you're going to be taking as a drug or creams or whatever read labels check the safety for pregnant women they usually write it there. Pregnant women should not take this. This is safe for pregnant women. This is not safe. They will write it there. So always check. Them. If you are not used to checking labels, learn. Try to be checking labels. Another one is that you should eat a balanced diet. Your vegetables, your fruits, your whole grains, you know, nourished foods. And always stay hydrated. Drink water, like three to four liters per day. So pregnancy is a delicate affair. So you don't go on to use any medicine or self-medicate without recommendations from your doctor in order to ensure safety of your baby and yourself. Before you go, do you know that some pregnant women are supposed to avoid sex throughout their pregnancy? It's shock you. Check out this video where I talk about those People at risk that they are not supposed to even access during pregnancy. I break down the risk and the myths surrounding this sensitive topic. Trust me, it is a must watch for every mom to be. See you in our next video. Bye.